we want to start off with just talking about the numbers, how many kids we have in the camp and how it compares to other years. Okay, uh, this year we've had 130 in our contact camp and 25 in our non-contact camp, which is about 155 kids, which is probably 20 to 30 more than we've ever had uh, in previous years, so we're pretty excited about that. Where do these kids come from? Are they from the Halifax area or do they come from all over the province? Uh, most of the kids are from the Halifax area, although we do have some uh, parents that have taken vacation time out this way and have had their kids registered in the camp, some from as far away as Calgary. The uh, surging numbers, do you think that that's an indication of what's to come for football in Nova Scotia? Absolutely. I think the biggest thing with the, with the growth of our camp, it parallels the growth of football in this province, and it's, uh, it's actually quite exciting, and it's going to be a benefit to us down the road when we go to recruit these guys in a couple of years. Who makes up your coaching staff for these camps? Uh, basically, our camp director is uh, Danny Laramie. We have uh, Anthony Williams, one of our coaches, coming out to help, Paul Mason, uh, myself, and then most of the rest of the coaches are uh, players on our team that come out and uh, give three days of their time and knowledge to pass on to these guys. What can the younger players uh, hope to get out of a camp like this? Well, I think the big thing is we try to uh, expose them to as much football as possible. This is a strictly football camp. There's no uh, uh, games times or any of those kind of things. It's strictly football, and they get about five to five and a half hours of instruction a day on field. So uh, it's pretty intense for three days.